Hello, welcome back. Let's look at another problem dealing with the EOQ, economic order quantity. Now this one is different from the previous problems that I had uh, solved, I had posted. Now those are, you know, simple and direct EOQ problems. This one is different because here we have, uh, you know, uh, quantity discounts. Now it is a practice that uh, when customers buy in bulk, they usually get a discount. So here we have a problem where there is a discount that when you buy, you know, items up to you know up to ninety nine items, the price per unit is one thousand. But if you buy hundred items and above then the price per unit drops from 1000 to 950 and we have to solve this uh, problem we have to find out the economic order quantity now how do we do that now the supply of a special component has the following price schedule 0 to 99 items rupees 1000 per unit 100 items and above rupees 950 per unit the inventory holding costs are estimated to be 25% of the value of the inventory. The procurement ordering costs are estimated to be Rs. 2000 per order. If the annual requirement of the special component is 300, compute the EOQ, economic order quantity, for the procurement of these items. Now, how do you solve this problem? Okay, solution. First things first. All right now x-axis is the lot size the purchase quantity the y-axis the price per unit all right so if you buy anything up to this point here which is 100 anything 0 to 99 items you know you'll be paying 1000 uh, rupees per unit let's call that s1 small s s1 is rupees 1000 and anything above and this point here let's call this point as b all right and B is basically 100 items. And anything from B, you know, if you buy 100 and above items, the price per unit will come down to S2, which is rupees 950 per unit. All right. Now, let's find out the EOQ. First thing is find out EOQ for price S2. So let's call that EOQ2. CO. CO is nothing but the ordering cost or procurement cost into A, which is your annual requirement, divided by S. Now, what is this S? This is nothing but the price per unit. S times F, small f. And F is nothing but the inventory holding cost. All right. And now this S that will be ac applicable here for EOQ2 will be S2, the price per unit, because we are finding out the EOQ for with price S2. So that is 2 into what is the ordering cost? 2000 per order times what is the annual requirement or annual demand 300 divided by s2 now s2 here is 950 into 25 percent so 0 0.25 and if you solve this you'll get 71 now now, 71 is less than B. Remember, B here is the price breakpoint. B 
is the price what we would call the price break point okay which is equal to 100 items okay now it is less than p now if it is less than p then the economic order quantity cannot be uoq2 it cannot be 71 that means we will have to find out the total cost with price s1 we have to find out the total cost with price s1 and compare that with total cost at the price breakpoint b all right so total cost with price s1 okay is equal to total cost for eoq1 all right now this is the formula 2 times CO into S into F into A plus S into A now which which price are we going to use S1 or S2 we're going to use S1 why because we're finding all the total cost for EOK1 so use S1 so this will be S1 all right so so 2 times 2000 times 1000 s1 is 1000 right times f what is f f is 25 percent so 0 0.25 times a what is the annual requirement 300 plus s1 is 1000 times 300 equals to Seventeen thousand three hundred twenty point five plus three hundred thousand equals to three lakh seventeen thousand three hundred and twenty point five. So there we found out the total cost for EOQ one. Compare that with total cost at the price break point b all right which equals to co into a by q plus q divided by 2 into s into f plus s into a now you may wonder why am I using two different formulas to find out the total cost now in here we are using this formula because we do not know what is the value of Q all right we do not know what is the uh, you, what is the quantity here all right we are saying that this price okay s1 which is 1000 applies for this area for this region which is anywhere between 0 between 0 and 1000 or 100 all right so we do not know the quantity but here at price break point b if you buy anything from here onwards from b which is 100 you buy anything above 100 100 and above this price will apply 950 so therefore you know here we do not know what is the quantity that's why we use this but here we know what is a what is a what is q what is the value of Q, okay the quantity so which is co what is co it's 2000 into a your an annual demand now q here will be you know the value of the price break point now what is the price break point is 100 so that is the value so if you if you buy anything you know if you buy 100 and above you will get it at a discounted rate 100 and above so anything from 100 and above it's 950 so again here q is 100 divided by 2 into s now what price will apply here yes see the moment you know 
uh, from B onwards, the price break point, this price will, will apply 950 per unit. Okay, from B onwards. So therefore, it will be S2. So what is S2? It's 950 times F. What is F? 0 0.25 plus what is S2? 950 times uh, annual demand 300. So that is this will be 6,000 plus 11,875 plus 2,85,000. Now, if you add up, you'll get 3 lakhs, 2,875. Okay? Now, compare these two total costs. TC for EOQ1 is 3,17,320.5. And here, TC at B, the price break point is 3,2875, which is lesser. All right, here, since, so you write, since TC at B is lesser than TC for EOQ1, the EOQ will be equal to B. All right, which is the price break point equals to 100 items. All right. So since TC at B is lesser than TC for EOQ1, the EOQ will be the price break point, which is 100. All right. Suppose now, let's say TC for, for EOQ1 is lesser than TC at B. Let's say TC for EOQ1 is lesser than TC at B. Then what will happen is that the EOQ will no longer be B. It will be the EOQ will be EOQ1. So we will have to find out what is EOQ1 in that case. All right. So remember, since TC at B is lesser than TC for EOQ1, the economic order quantity or optimal order quantity will be the price break point, which is 100 items. So this is how you solve a problem with, uh, you know, a quantity discount. I will solve a few more problems, uh, EOQ problems with, uh, with quantity discount. So stay tuned for a few more videos.